Back at it. Back at it. Back at it. Let's jump in. Let's jump back in. All right, adventurers. Welcome back to All Play. We're here with more Hearthstone. We're doing more of our newest uh, solo adventure. Solo. Solo. Mo so that. The Boomsday Project. <laughs> Where did we leave off with the Puzzle Lab? Where did we leave off? Ah, yes, we're halfway through board clear. We're taking on the next part of board clear. Remember, the rules for board clear is we want uh, to empty the entire board. New blood? Visit my assistant. She'll get you started. All right, so it looks like we're going to demonologist drawn. Let's do this. Let's do this. This has been fun. Out of all of them so far, I've liked board clear the most. I've like board clear. That that's always a fun thing to do. Uh, see see how to wipe out everything. Anduin versus Thran. All right. Once again, the rules for board clear is we want to clear the battlefield of all the minions, all of them, the opponents and ours. Time to get I like her. All right. All right, let's get to work. Uh, Clear this board of minions, but save the souls for me. I've got plans. All right. Uh, drawn side of the field, we have from left to right a board, uh, Bloodfin, excuse me, Bloodfin Raptor. It's a 3 2. We have Hungry Eden. It is a 4 10 with taunt battle and battle cry. Summon a random two cost minion for your opponent. Then we have the Molten Giant, an 8-8 that reads, costs one less for each damage your hero is taken. It doesn't matter right now. Our side of the board, we have the Sleepy Dragon, a 4-12 with Taunt. We have the Chill Wind Yeti, a 4-5. And we have the Magma Rage, a 5-1. Our 4-12 Dragon and our 4-5 Yeti can attack, but our Magma Rage cannot. Don't worry. This is for the greater good, surely. Uh, our hand from left to right, we have topsy turvy swap a minion's attack and health. Pint size potion, give all enemy minions minus three attack this turn only. Uh, crazed alchemist, a 2 2 with battle cry, swamp the attack and health of a minion. Confuse, which we swap the attack and health of all minions. We have shrinkmeister, a 3 2 with battle cry, give a minion minus two attack this turn. Shadow word death, destroy a minion with five or more attack. And Shadow Word Horror, destroy all minions with two or less attack. This isn't going to be fun. There's too much too much time manipulation or order manipulation. For example, Pint Size Potion. Give all enemy minions minus three attack this turn only. I don't know if I play this. How did you think Boom kept the lights on here? Let's see, which one was it? Where was it? If I play this before or after Confuse, I don't know that. Let's see. So, like, let's say I play Confuse right now. It's going to switch the Hungry Eden from a 4-10 to a 10-4. I don't know if me playing this before that or after that yields different results. I, I'm not familiar with that. Those two. I don't play those cards often. So, let's see. Let's see. Both of these could attack the Molten Giant. Both of these could attack the Molten Giant and die. They'll both die. If I play Confuse, I'm sorry. Yeah, if I play Confuse, they can attack him, but I'll have to get rid of the Hungry Eden first. I can use Shadow Word Death. Only stored these in soul stones for years. I can use Shadow Word Death after playing Confuse, so that's five mana right there. Then these two could attack there. If I attack with the Yeti first and then the Sleepy Dragon these three will die too, so that's four. And I just need to find a way to get rid of Bloodfin Raptor and the Magma Rager. That should be Shadow Word Horror, right? That's simple. That's simple. Two mana and then three would be five. And then four mana, we still got one left over. All right, let's swap them. We'll have Shadow Word Death hit the Hungry Eden. We'll attack the Magma or Molta Giant with the Yeti first, and then the Sleepy Dragon. And now Shadow Word Horror is gonna destroy all minions with two or less attack, that's everybody. I'm pretty sure. 
I'm pretty sure there's multiple ways to solve a few of these. I'm pretty sure there's multiple ways. This is probably the first one where I didn't find a second way to do it. All right. Drawn side of the board. From Milk harvest crops, we harvest souls. Remarkably similar. From left to right, we have the Void Walker, a 1 3 with taunt. We have the Chill Win Yeti, a 4 5. We have the Void Lord, a 3 9 with taunt. And Death Rattle, summon 3 1 3 demons with taunt. It's actually this very same thing. Uh, we have. A Boulder Fist Ogre, a 6-7. And then we have another Void Walker, a 1 through with Taunt. Our side of the board, we have four copies of 1-1 one, one Imps. And in between them, we have Doom Guard with Char... Um, uh, I'm sorry, a 5-7 with Charge and Battle Cry Discard, two random cards. So clearly, this is going to be good. Uh, our hand, we have Mortal Coil, deal one damage to a minion. If that kills it, draw a card. so much knowledge hidden away from us. And then we have Defile again. Defile says deal one damage to all minions. If any die, cast this again. Okay, so we're going to need to do this in a way that these two are going to be how we destroy stuff. Because we're we're a uh, uh, warlock, and our hero power is draw a card, take two damage. But neither of us have cards left, so we're not going to use that. I mean, in fact, I have enough mana to play everything in our hand. So let's see, we need to do this in a way that it scales. That we destroy ones, then twos, then threes, then fours, then fives, then sixes, then sevens, eights. Oh, we can't let this die last, though. That's the thing. This can't die last because it's going to make two. It's going to, I'm sorry, it's going to make three demons that won't die to a defile. So let's see, if we start out. Do they even have weight? Strange. If we start out by having Doom Guard attack here, if Doom Guard attacks the Void Lord, then both Doom Guard and Void Lord will have four health. They'll both have four health, so they'll be our fours. I could have one of the imps attack a Void Walker, so then we'd have one, two, three, four, five. Let's see. Five. Now, here's the trick. Here's the trick. Uh, I need to deal one damage here so I can use Mortal Coil to make this six. Okay? Now, here's the trick. These are going to die on four. This dies on four, and it's going to make it's gonna make the three, the, so the three one threes. All right? Might prove difficult. It's going to make the three one threes. So, they're dying on four. Five, which means they'll take... One point of damage, they'll have two left. Six, they'll take another point of damage, they'll have one left. And then they'll die again. That's the order, okay? Now let's see if I can remember what all I just said. I attack here. They both become fours. I attack here. This is my two. And I use Mortal Coil here. And that becomes my six, right? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then these will die after the six dies. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, come on. Five, six. There it is. <laughs> Board clear. Board clear. All right. Let's do this. All right, drawn side of the board from left to right, we have a Harvest Golem, a 2-3 with Death Rattle, summon a 2-1 damaged Golem, a Possessed Villager, a 1-1 one, one with Death Rattle, summon a 1-1 one, one Shadow Beast. Then we have Pit Fighter, a 5-6. Then we have another Possessed Villager that'll die and get a 1-1 one, one Shadow Beast. And then we have another Harvest Golem that's a 2-3 that'll die and give us a 2-1 damaged Golem. Our side of the board, empty. We're warrior. Our hero ability is gain two armor. Our hand from left to right. We have whirlwind. Deal one damage to all minions. Revenge. Deal one damage to all minions. If you have twelve health or less, deal three damage instead. Execute. Destroy a damaged enemy minion. So much untapped power just floating about. Woodcutter's axe, a two-two weapon that says death rattle. Give plus two plus one to a random friendly rush minion. Uh, <laughs> Rabbit War again, our 3-3 three, three Rush Minion. Fiery War Axe, a 3-2. Uh, 
and Blood Razor, a 2-2 two -two weapon that's uh, that has Battle Cry and Death Rattle deal one damage to all minions. We got 10 mana and no cards in our deck. Let's see. This is this is gonna be tricky. This is gonna be tricky. Let's see. This becomes this if if I play the Rabid Worgen and somehow destroy my Woodcutter's Axe. The Worgen becomes a five four. Worgen becomes a five four. Okay. Could we? No, no. That'd be far too dangerous. Uh. So I need to. Okay. So here's what I see. I need to do so far. That's what I see that I need to do. I need to play the war again. I'm lost and I need to play the Woodcutter's X. What I don't know is if I need to attack with this or not. I think I do. I think I do. I can only attack once regardless of how many times I put weapons on me. If I don't, I could play the war X, attack with that. But then I'd only be able to play one more card. Either revenge or whirlwind, in I'm sorry, or ex execute. But that's I don't think that's the right thing. I think what I need in my life. I think what I need in my life is, I attack here. I attack the one of the harvest golems. The worgen could attack the other harvest golem, and it's gonna die. It's going to die and make its thing. What I could then do. Ugh, I think I messed up. I don't think I was supposed to play this, to be honest. I think I was supposed to play this. Let me play this out. Uh, let's attack here. That's going to die and make its, make its uh, damaged. Its damaged golem. Battle cry. If I play this now, it's going to destroy all. I'm sorry, it's going to damage everything, but I won't be able to play anything else. I, I'll still need to get rid of one, two, three's tokens and this thing. I think I should have just played the Blood Razor. I probably should have just played the Blood Razor, right? Oh, well, we're here now. Let's see. Here's Whirlwind. It's going to get rid of everything with one. Oh, wait. Did I get it? I got it. I can play Execute here and then Revenge. For some reason, it wasn't processing in my head that I could still play Revenge. Okay. I don't know. I can't. I can't blame it on not being awake. It's 2.30. <laughs> Board's clear. All right. Oh, Lord. Inside of minions, is that double so value? Um, what do you? No one in here has a minion in them. Are you awake? Dr whatever. Draw inside the board. She has two copies of the Bronze Gatekeeper, a one-five with magnetic and taunt. Uh, they're both on the far ends. In between them are three angry chickens, a one-one that has plus five attack when damaged. That's actually one of my favorite cards. I've won. I've won several games with it. I like it. I like the card. Our side of the board, we have two eight eight sea giants. They read cost one less for each other minion on the battlefield. That doesn't matter. It's already in play. Uh, we also have between those two one abomination, a four four with taunt and death rattle. Deal two damage. And process these souls. Deal two damage to all creatures. Oh, this one's easy. This one's easy. This one's easy. Okay, I get this one already. Uh, in our hand, we have two cards. Uh, Contamination, give a minion poisonous. And Mark of the Wild, give a minion taunt and 2-2. Two, two. I'm sorry, plus 2, plus 2. Uh, we are... Damn, I looked it up. Druid. There we go. We're Druid. Our hero power is uh, plus 1 attack this turn and plus 1 armor. Okay, this one you kind of got to understand that this is going to deal damage when it dies. And poisonous cares about any kind of damage. Doesn't matter if it's attacking or damage or just effect damage. It cares about damage. There is so much knowledge hidden away from us. So what we need to do, if I'm not mistaken, is make one of these minions big enough 
to kill this while it's poisoned, while it has poisonous. I think that's right, right? No, actually, we, we can't do that. There's no way to make one of those. Maybe this isn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. We need to hit this with poisonous, I'm thinking. Make it die. And then we're out of here. Is that not right? If I give him poisonous. That's not right. If I give him taunt. No, it's not going to kill him. What was I thinking? Hmm. What was I thinking? I need him to die. I need you to die, good sir. Why won't you die? Why won't you die? Huh. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait. Ah, oh, I get it. I see. I, I had the right idea. I forgot. I forgot. Okay. I'll return their souls so we can restart. So we this them all at once. this doesn't just make them bigger. It also gives them taunt. So what I was thinking was, okay, it's, it has to be one of these two because that's all I can attack. No, I can put it here on one of the angry chickens. I'll do just that. Now I have six mana, so I will be able to play contamination, but I can also use my hero power. That way I can attack the the taunted chicken. It can get bigger. And now it's big enough to kill this guy when he dies. Now when he dies, he's going to deal damage to all characters. And because he's poisonous, he's going to kill any minion that dies. I'm sorry, that takes the damage, whether it's big enough or not. So that's going to die. That's going to die. They're all going to die. And even our big boys are going to die. I forgot it gave taunt. I knew it made it bigger. I've never used that for its taunt at all. Board's clear. Oh, I don't know. Don't do this. Don't do this to me. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Draw inside the board from left to right. We have a spider tank, a 3-4 mech. We have a war gear, a 5-5 five, five mech with magnetic. We have a force tank max, a 7-7 seven, seven mech with divine shield. And then we have all those again in reverse order. Then we have another force tank max. We have another war gear. And we have another spider tank. Our side of the board, empty. Our hand from left to right, we have Skater Bot, a five. I'm sorry, a one one mech with magnetic and rush. Magnetic means if you play this minion to the left of a mech, they'll fuse together. Their stats will be combined, and they'll have the the uh, abilities of both of them. We have two copies of Skater Bot. I think I said three. I don't know. This is for the greater good, surely. Then we have Faithful Lumi, a one one with battle cry. Give a friendly mech plus one plus one. We have Fireworks Tech, a 2-1 with Battle Cry, give a friendly mech, plus one, plus one. If it has Death Rattle, trigger it. Uh, we have Explosive Sheep, a 1-1 one, one that reads Death Rattle, deal two damage to all minions. We have Galvanizer, a 1-2 that reads Battle Cry, reduce the cost of mechs in your hand by one. We have Mech Warper, a 2-3 mech that reads your mechs cost one less. And then we have Brand Bronze Beard, a 2-4 that reads your battle cries trigger twice. And finally, we have Spark Drill, a 5-1 mech with Rush and Death Rattle. Add two 1-1 one -one sparks with Rush to your hand. I don't like this one. I really don't like this one. Sorting these souls might prove difficult. It's very clear that we want to abuse. Oh, we have seven mana and uh, no cards in our deck. Our hero power is Hunter. Uh, steady shot, deal two damage to the enemy hero power. It's useless. Okay, it's very clear that we want to abuse a few things in our hand. We want to abuse that this guy is going to make our mechs cheaper. So will Mech warp, Warper, excuse me, and Bronze Beard will make Galvanizer trigger twice, which we probably need since we only have seven mana. Uh, it's going to make it so that everything, once we play Bronze Beard and then Galvanizer, it's going to make Mech Warper free, and this guy will only cost what? Uh, Let's see, two, I'm sorry, one, and then two here with Bronze Beer. It's going to cost three. So actually, we won't be able to play him. No, no, 
That'd be far too dangerous. All right, let's start there. We'll start with Bronzebeard. Who knows what secrets will uncover? And then we can play Galvanizer. Oh, this is an Amek. Oh, this is an Amek. This is a this is a young young woman. Okay, uh, we could play Mech Warper for free. We still can't play him. Let's see. This wants this wants us to play on a Mech and specifically one with Death Rattle. The only one with Death Rattle is Explosive Sheep. But if we play that, we lose this Mech. I think before we play, ooh, Battlecry's gonna go twice, which means it's gonna trigger that twice. It's gonna trigger that twice. It's gonna kill Bronzebeard. So we need to get all our battle cries out the way by then, huh? Battlecry give a friendly mech plus one plus one. Uh, that's gonna trigger twice. It's gonna kill whatever's out. If I put that on, I put the plus. Plus two, plus two. Remember, it's triggering twice. If I put that on, so much untapped power just floating about. If I put that here, two, 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 it'd be four, four. It's still gonna kill itself. There's no way to keep this alive unless this is out. Remember, Chill, you're not trying to build big minions. You're trying to clear the board. Okay, so we need this out. If I give Lumi's plus one plus one times two to this. No, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. I want to bring these two together. Magnetic and Rush. Yeah, bring these two together. So now Galvanizer can attack one of these and break its shield. I don't need it alive anymore. Let's go. Okay. If I want to play Lumi, I need to play it before I lose this because I want to do the same thing here. I want this to merge here and attack. Ooh, do I? I guess I do. Okay. Now if we play this. Ah shoot. I haven't done anything to this side and it's not gonna work the way I think it will. Ah, I can't attack. Oh, I'm gonna trigger the death roll. Never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Uh let's play this here. We'll hit it. Oh, it's actually going to live. Interesting. That's not what I want, I but you know. Yeah, we didn't do as much as a much of an impact as I thought I would. Let's try it. Let's take it back. Let's take it back. This is one to think on. This is the one to you think on. To gather enough souls in a single batch. Try again. Okay. What if I instead don't want Hmm. I think I do want bronze beer first. Who knows what secrets will uncover? Galvanizer immediately after means this is the only card I can't play. Let's drop this one. What if I don't want to merge these with anything? Cause it doesn't if I if I play these just to attack here, merging them doesn't really help, but it doesn't hurt either. Merging them doesn't hurt, but it doesn't help. Because as long as this triggers twice, it's gonna kill these anyways. So let's not. Let's leave them on the board for now. Because best case scenario, we're keeping this out to play, you know, nothing. <laughs> let's let's keep it out. Let's keep it out. 
All right, so we can attack. Got a friendly mech. I have death rattle, so no. It can attack. It can attack. All right. We play Lumi. She's going to give a friendly mech plus one, plus one. It doesn't matter, to be honest. That doesn't matter. Yeah, that doesn't matter. I feel like I need to play this. I feel like I need to play this card. Because really, we're not doing anything. It's going to go to three. Well, that doesn't matter. Really, Mac plus one plus one. It's really going to get two. I just need to not pick the warper. Alright, so I play this Ooh, here. I wonder what this does. It goes to three, but it's still gonna kill everything on my side and leave four on her side. Excuse me, what was that that died? What was that on my side that died? Why'd this die twice? Hang on. I don't know why this died twice. Or three times. I'm sorry. I wasn't expecting it to die three times. This gave it... Battle Cry. Give a friendly. Plus one, plus one. Triggers Death Rattle. So the Death Rattle triggered twice. It should have triggered twice. Oh, I get it. I get it. Okay, I get what happened. The, it triggered the death rattle twice, then it actually died. Okay. I get that. Okay. So we're actually much closer than I thought we were. I thought it would only be four left. How did you think Boom kept the lights on here? Okay. Okay. Okay, we're much closer. Much, much closer than I thought we were this time. Let's do that one more time. Let's try it again. Hmm. Not quite enough souls. Okay. I want to try this one more time before I figure out how to play this. Let's play. Let's see if I play. If I don't play Brand, I don't get. I don't get this dying three times. If I play this right now, though, and I want to play this, I can't play anything else. So let's try this one more time. Brand. Who knows what secrets will Galvanizer. Mech Warper for free. If this were to die three times right now, this is only going to take four damage. These will die, but this is only going to take four, and this is going to be at one, and I'll have no way to deal with anything else. I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Pause. Pause. What if these aren't to take down the shields? What if these two here are actually to take those out? Again, if I find a way to kill this right now, it's going to take down their shields and bring them down to four, but these will be at one. The tanks will be dead. These will be at one. And the, the the spider tank, I mean. The divine shields will be gone and they'll be at four. I need a better way to deal with that. I need a better way to deal with these shields. If we can filter and process these souls. These going to my hand doesn't sound good. It sounds like they're going to cost one. Oh, they'll be free because they're mechs, I believe. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe I do need this. All right, so I play this. Then the bots. Yo. What if... If I put the skater bot on the sheep, it becomes a 2 2 with death rattle deal 2 to all minions. But I don't have any way to take out that shield at this point. I attack, it dies. I trigger that, it dies. Or four, four, it dies three times. If I hit it with this, let's see, 2 2, hit it with this is 4 4. That twice 6, it doesn't die. 
It doesn't die. Okay, so we hit Skater Bot here. Skater Bot here. Faithful Lumi here. And now if I go Fireworks Tech, it becomes a 6-6 six, six that doesn't die off its own trigger. It doesn't die off the two triggers. It can attack and hit this tank and kill it. And then die actually, and everything's gone. Is that it? I think that's it. I wonder what this does. So now I attack here. Oh no, this still has one. This still has one. That makes me sad. I'm so close. I'm so close. <laughs> I'm so close. Harvesting souls is hard work, but the screams are so gratifying. I'm so close. I know it's brand first, Galvanizer, and then the Warper. I know that's it. That has to be it. I would be mad if that's not it, but that has to be it. What was I supposed to put the skater bot with? The first skater bot. What was I supposed Do I put that with the Galvanizer so it can live? Let me try that. Because, again, I don't need the galvanizer. It, its body is a waste right now. That's not right. That's not right. That can't be right. I play the sheep. I drop Lumi. And I give Skater Bot the sheep. This didn't matter. This didn't matter. Because the shield's still up. The shield's still up, and I can't attack with this yet. Let's go. My hero power. Why, why does my hero power matter? Why does my hero power matter? Because I have two men. Oh, no, it's to play this. Never mind. We do this. I wonder what this does. I don't get how this one survived. Oh, because it's seven, and this is going to go off three times. I get it now. Okay, I get it now. Two times three is six. One love. Okay. What am I missing? I would I wouldn't know what I'm missing. I, I want to figure this one out. This is gonna go off once more. I attack here. That's dead, but that still has that one point. That still has that one point. How do I get rid of that one point? What am I What am I not seeing? What am I not seeing? What am I not seeing here? I like this one. I I know I said. Perhaps we'll use your soul instead. I know I said at the top, I don't like this puzzle. Nah, I love this one now. I, will, I, I like this one. Let's get this one. Okay, I want to play this. Let's try it with me playing this this time. If I can get the death row to trigger twice before it actually dies, then I'll get six. I know I'm not going to be able to play them. I, I know I'm not going to be able to play them. You can rush, attack. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to play any of them or anything else. But let's, for for the sake of being thorough, let's get this. Hang on. Makes cut cost one less. Five. I won't be able, that's a mech. I won't be able to play on them. Wait, 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 wait. If I play this, this costs one less. Let's reduce the cost of all mechs by one. So now I can play most things. I can play this. But I can't trigger his death rattle. Not with this. So let's see. Yeah. It only gave me... They, they cost one. I can't play them. And they're not mixed, so I can't play them. Uh, explosive sheep. 
Here's Lumi. Does it matter that I give him Lumi? I don't think it actually it probably does. Let's put that there. That there. We can't play anything else in our hand anyway. Nah. Nah. It's clearly not the big boy. It's clearly not the big boy. Nah, I like this. Come on. Give me. I'm going to play Brand. Give me. Brand. Brand. Galvanizer. Now, why? Okay, so I, I've I've said that this is clearly what I need to do. Why would this not be what I need to do? If I would have played, what does this normally cost? Shoot, I have to go back to see what it normally costs. The Mech Warper. It's not more. It's not more than two, right? Yeah, it can't cost more than two. So if I play this first, this costs what one? Yeah, okay, so that was the right order. I get, I'm trying to figure out why would I not want to play this immediately after Brand. My battle cries are my are my key here. Mech Warper? Why not Mech Warper? Why play Mech Warper at all? Because after we play Mech Warper... Think we've only stored these in soul stones for years. After we play Mech Warper, we can't play any other mechs that we already couldn't play. Mech Warper isn't helping. Let me take this back. Now I want to see if Galvanizer is the trick. I'll return their souls so we can restart. We need them all at once. If if when we get to the point that we can play Mech Warper for free, it's useless to play Mech Warper for its ability because everything else is already free. Everything else is already free thanks to Galvanizer. So do am, do I really want to play Galvanizer? Is it that I want to just jump straight to Mech Warper? Three. So then this will cost one. This will cost one. And that's it. Oh, Mech Warper will cost one. I'm sorry, Galvanizer will cost one too. Which means I won't be able to play Fireworks Tech at the end. Okay. So that is the order. I do want to play Bran, then Galvanizer, right? You see what I'm saying? I hope you guys see what I'm saying. Playing Mech Warper right now is actually worse than playing Galvanizer, unless I want Mech Warper for his body, which doesn't matter because we got to get through these shields. I'm playing Galvanizer. Okay. So from here. Let's drop Mech Warper. Let's just play him. Three. And that costs two. If I would have played Mech Warper, I'd still have two mana. And then I could play this. Hang on. I think I think the gears are turning now. I think I could, I think the gears are turning. Don't give up. Although if you do, perhaps we'll use your soul instead. Who knows what secrets will uncover? No, that was bad match, Hill. You won't be able to play Spark Drill. All right, Mech Warper. Let's get our sheep out here. Okay. Um. I really need those shields down. Problem is, these would be my only two attackers. And I think, I really think I need to put one of them on the sheep. I really think I need one on the sheep. Mm. 
the sheep would be. If I put both on the sheep, it would be 3-3. Three, three. Then I give Lumi to the sheep. It's a 5-5, five, five, thanks to Bran. There is so much knowledge hidden away from us. Then I give the tech to the sheep. It's a 7-7. Seven, seven. And his death rattle goes off once. Breaks the shield, damages everything else. I'm sorry, it goes off twice. Breaks the shield. Everything has... This is dead. This has one damage. This has... I'm sorry, this has one life. This has shield broken. Shield broken another point, so it had five. All the way around. Now the problem would be attacking. Attacking would do what? Attacking, this one would kill that. This would still be alive. But I think that's all I got, really. Here's Lumi. Sorting these souls might prove difficult. Here's Skaterbot. I put that. That becomes a five. It becomes a... Let's see. Right now, it will withstand its own damage. So what if I don't put... No, but I need to kill that. Right now, it will withstand its own damage. Do I want it to? Hang on. I think the gears are turning now. I think the gears are turning now on why he has this body because his ability is pretty much useless. If I put this here, that's a 3 4. Nah, that's stupid, chill. Never mind, that's dumb, chill. Let me let me put everything here. 5 5. I put this there, it's a 7 7. It's not going to die to its own death rattles. Ooh, I wonder what this does. 1 and 2. Damn. The math is there. The math is there. But boy, oh boy. Not quite enough souls. Boy, oh boy, this is this is a monster puzzle here. <laughs> no pun intended. This is a monster puzzle. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I promise. I promise. Okay. Okay. So clearly, see, I, I feel like I've evaluated everything I can with Spark Drill. I'm not supposed to play Spark Drill. I'm clearly supposed to go Brand Galvanizer. Or I'm not going to be able to play stuff. Without these two up front, I'm not going to be able to play anything. The sheep is also very clearly a piece of this puzzle. So these two will make it so whatever they join with or not will be able to attack. These two make it so I have two attackers at most. If I drop Lumi. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I figured it out. <laughs> I think I just told myself the answer. They make it so that something can attack. So if I were to play Skater Bot here and let's say, let's, let's say I play Skater Bot here and somehow it's a 6-6, six, six, okay? And then this 6-6 six, six attacks this war gear. It'll have one health. It'll still be alive. If I drop a skater bot to the left of this again, it can attack again. I think that's what it wants me to figure out, that I can abuse Rush. Now let's figure out the best way to abuse Rush. Do they even have weight? How strange. Let's see. I need a big body so it survives. So let's give that two battle cries there. Uh, attack, attack, and survive its death rattle from fireworks tech. Is that a thing I can do? Let's try that. So even right now, it's going to survive its own death rattle once I put fireworks tech on it. Yeah, it's good to survive it. So let's let's do that. I hope this is right. I hope I'm doing the right thing. I hope I'm doing the right thing about life. I feel like I'm playing it too early. Ooh, I wonder what this does. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay. So now if I attack with it, it's gonna die. If I attack, yeah, if I attack anything with it, it's gonna die. But then, wait, no, 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 that's what I want. This isn't the final move. This isn't the final move. I can merge these two together and then kill that one. Okay. Yo, this one was hard. <laughs> Board's clear. Perhaps Morgan could use your mind. I had to tap into some brain powers. I haven't used it forever for that one. I had to abuse. I had to abuse attacking and damage. Oh, oh, oh I'm tired. I got a headache. All right, so we're moving on to the last portion of the board clear wing. It's going to be good. If you guys enjoyed this video and would love to see more, then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. That's that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way you get notified whenever a video goes live or whenever I do something special like Dr. Boom's The Boom's Day Project Puzzle Lab. Thank you guys for checking this out, and I'll catch you later with more here on Altplay.